Okay, so in this sketch, um, the purpose of it is to uh, just test a really simple thing, whether you can recognize a perfect square. Um, and the way that we do that is we generate a random number, and I think I've got it set up to generate randomly between 1 and 150. And then you have to guess whether it's a, a perfect square. Uh, and the thing that you have to help you guess, and the, the, uh, ob obviously we're hoping that a student doesn't use the calculator, but they're using just some mental estimation. But what they can do is recognize that um, a perfect square is going, it can be represented by a physical square. So in the case of 121, uh, we start with one that is a perfect square. We know that that can be represented physically by uh, a square that is 11 by 11. And so um, we don't say it explicitly, but uh, the idea is they can change the size of the rectangle below to try to create a square that has an area of the number here. Um, and so that is sort of the visual way that they can check whether a number is a perfect square or not. And if they decide, oh, they, they created a square to that area 100, 121, they can check their answer and it will confirm, yes, in fact, that is a perfect square. And then try another one, we'll try another one. And this will generate an, uh, uh, any number of values that are all um, either perfect squares or not. And so, for example, 98, is 98 a perfect square? So hopefully they'll, if they're not sure, they can try to create a rectangle that has a um, area of 98. There's one that's 99. There's one that is 100. Uh, but they'll find in this case that they cannot get 98. And so hopefully their guess is that it is not a perfect square. They can check their answer, in fact. Uh, it checks out that, in fact, it's not a perfect square. Try another one, and they can continue to do this um, as often as, as they wish. Hopefully, they'll get to a point where they can recognize perfect squares without um, physically making the square, but this is uh, a quick way to, uh, to practice that in a dynamic way.